actually I'd like to take this, uh, the opportunity here as we are talking about stakeholders. And I would like to hear a little bit more about the relationship between you as a professional, professional bodies and the regulatory, regulatory body and the employer. This three pillars of a profession seems to be very important and it's not yet existing in policing, but I'd like to and to have a little bit of uh, feedback, reflection about the relationship between these three. So, um, the employers of nursing of, of nurses uh, are, are, are the employers. Um, nurses work for though for predominantly the, N the NHS yes. in, in the UK, but also the private independent voluntary sector. Um, and the employers essentially will look to um, the regulator to ensure that the people they employ mm -hmm. are fit and sound. Yes. Um, and they have the opportunity to report poor practice or unsafe practice to the regulator. But the regulator, in essence, regulates the profession. Um, the there's an interesting relationship, I think, in nursing, and it is quite a bit different to, to paramedic, and I'm sure Bob will explain that in a moment, but um, in nursing we, we have something called the Royal College of Nursing, mm -hmm. which is a professional body and therefore has a, a number of professional interest groups, um, but is also a union. Yes. Um, there's some tension in the way that that gets played out, yeah. I, would, I would suggest. Um, whereas we have the Nursing and Midwifery Council, which is the regulator. But in a way, they are the regulator and also the standard setter. Mm -hmm. So whilst the Royal College of Nursing might influence the debate around how the standards are generated, how they're, uh, how they're set, um, it is the Nursing and Midwifery Council that sets the standard, sets the educational standards, and therefore will require the universities to meet those standards in order to deliver the degree mm -hmm. programmes to, to, to uh, bring the next generation of nurses on. The regulatory element of it is also then that, that if you like, the, the policing, if I could use that term, yes, yes. the sort of policing, if you like, of the profession. So the removal of people from the register, yes. allowing people, holding the register, making sure that um, th those standards are, are applied. Mm -hmm. So, it, and, and that is quite unique, I think, for mm -hmm. nursing. It's a bit different in what I would call the allied yes. health professions, of which paramedic is, is mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. We have the Health and Care Professions Council, who are the regulator, yeah. as Steve has said, and there's uh, a number of professions that work under their, their wings, if you like, the sort of protection. But as I said earlier, they are there to protect the public, mm -hmm. they're not there to protect the individual. Yeah. Um, if you do something that's not right, you normally go down two potential routes. One is about conduct and conduct is a more serious offence than if you um, make an error. So if I do something that's silly, it's something to do with, I, I, I should have known better, I could be educated, then that doesn't normally remove me from the register, that normally gives me extra training and support and development. Mm. But if I'm a liar or a cheat, or I'm gonna do wrong things to people and hurt people deliberately or you know, then that's conduct and that can cost me my registration and can cost me my job and career. Yes.